Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to VR Essentials as today we are talking about how to bling up your Meta Quest 3, which is this one here, FYI. There we go. Brilliant Meta Quest 3. And yeah, got some brand new accessories that just arrived here at the VR Essentials studio in Singapore. Look at these beauties. The Pico, new, Pico 4 at the back there, the Pimax Crystal, the DPVR E4 4K, and my go-to VR headset at the moment, the HP Reverb G2, although I do tend to want to use the Pimax Crystal more for Sims, I have to admit, do go and check out all those other videos. So, thank you very much to Zyber. Now, by the way, guys, full disclosure, you can get a 15% discount using the promo code VR Essentials. Link in the description below, but I haven't looked at these, so let's unbox this. So I got the Elite Strap here. Now, at the end of the month, by the way, or I think next month, they're going to be releasing a brand new version of this with the actual um, charger here at the back. So you'll be able to keep your Quest 3 running for longer. And they also do tons of other accessories, by the way, not just for Quest 3, but also for Pico series, Quest 2, Quest Pro, and other stuff as well. And I just want to say, thanks to VR Cover, I'm actually testing out one of their facial interface covers here at the moment. So I will do a full review of this. Do hit the notification bell after you subscribe, of course, of this. And then they also sent me this, by the way, as well, uh, which is basically a, um, a power bank that you wear here. So that's going to be very interesting, not something I'm very used to. I'm very curious about this. Maybe it's better to have it on your neck than at the back. I'm not quite sure, but very curious. Supposed to have up to 10,000 milliamp, I don't know, it's something massive. I'll show you guys on the website in just a moment. So... Yeah, so this is the box. So this is the Elite Strap. It says ergonomic design, easy to install, multi-angle adjustable, precision construction. So let's unbox this together, everybody. There we go. Open. Woo! Throw away. Cardboard box, nothing special about that. Uh, let's just open it together so you can see. There we go. So when you get it inside, you get the Zyber logo here. Some stuff that fell out. So, instructions. And this is quite cool, a cloth. I love cloths. I love to be able to clean my lenses and always have a cloth around. And then basically, if I just unbox this out, there we go. Nothing in here, all gone. And uh, yes, I'm going to have to clean my room up later. And then basically, we just slide this. There we go. Oh, two parts. This part as well. So, this part out of the plastic. Uh, this must be to. Okay, so this is basically the strap part, which is like this. And then this is the part that goes on the actual headset. So, let's just do this together, everybody, because I'm not quite sure how you do this. So, this part here is the large part. This is the headphone part. So, USB C part goes on the larger part. So, let's do that. All right, let's put that in. I don't think I'm supposed to take anything off, am I? Oh yes, I'm supposed to take this, this part off. There we go. So we take this part off and that part off as well. And then we can remove this, of course. Okay, let me hold on to the quest because I don't want it to drop. Oops. Okay, let me hold on to it. There we go. And then we can just, okay, I need to remove the facial interface. There we go. All done. And then we just remove this part. I don't know how easy or how hard it's going to be to put the other part on, but uh, we'll try. Oh, look, I have some money here. <laughs> this is a magnet. It's a magnet. It's quite funny. I didn't know that. So, um, yeah, so basically we put... Okay, first I will put this part in, so it's simple. So there we go, USB-C part in. Click. Very easy to click in. And then click again, okay. So this part is in, there we go. So it's pretty sturdy, I have to say. Pretty, pretty hard plastic. I thought it was gonna be much more. There we go. So make sure, make sure these parts are clicked in properly, as you can tell. I thought it'd be much more, I don't know, I thought it was gonna be much thinner, worse quality plastic, but it's actually 
pretty, pretty steady, I have to say. And then you can do this to adjust the strap out. And then we're going to put this part inside now. So, how does this work? I believe that it's... I believe it's the part that goes here, right? So, it will be inside. The inside part. Right and left, okay. And it's supposed to go on inside of here. We have some hooks. You can see it here. And you can see the other one here. So, left and right. So, it must be this way. Okay, so let's put them in. No, easy to put in. Let me do this uh, on screen. All right, so they go inside, but uh, trying to figure out... Or maybe it's the other way. Let me try. No, it's this way. Okay. I wish, I wish they would have done this already, to be honest, for us. Okay, there we go, they're both in, so all good. And then I'm just going to bring the strap in, like so. But this is the part that's really not easy. This is the part that is very much not easy. Okay, oh, almost. So what I suggest you do is you do, you bend it a little bit, like so, you bend it, because it's very, very hard to put it inside of here for it to go, to loop out. So just a for I. But it is possible, everybody. It is possible. Look at this. Oh, I got it in, so there we go. And make sure the Zyber logo is facing outwards, of course. So let's try. Let's see. Let's see how it feels about the cap. And uh, let me put the facial interface back in. Okay, there we go. You can hear all the crackling. Yeah, it feels very nice. Very nice. I like it. I actually like it. Yeah, it takes most of the cranium, so that's good. Yeah, guys, I really, really enjoy this. Now my headset is actually comfy <laughs> without the cap. Now I don't need to wear the cap for with my Quest 3. So that's, that's a great leap and bounce beyond. Let me just turn around. There we go. So yeah, guys, this is actually very, very comfortable and it didn't take very long to set up. Uh, but I have to say that um, it would have been nice to have it already all done, but I understand they can't do it because of the packaging. But uh, yeah, no, this is very, very cool, guys. I really like this. It feels very, very good quality. And this also, I don't know how long it's going to last. The click, clack, the click, clack, click, clack. If I do it, I don't know how many times. But it seems to be working okay. The spring seems to be all right. It's very comfortable. I have glasses on. All good, guys. All good. I'm really, really happy about this. All good. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try, we're going to unbox this one. So let's unbox this, guys. I'm very curious about this. You may have to charge it before using it, just FYI. All right. And by the way, they are sending me an Oculus Link cable too. So hit the notification bell after you subscribe to be notified of that video and smash the like so more people get to discover today's video and together we can grow the VR Essentials YouTube community. So I have some cables here, USB-C to USB-C. More USB-C to USB-C. And I also have one of these, which is cool to have, although I have plenty, but it's never, it's always good to have more of them. Instructions. And then here it is, guys. Wow, it's a massive thing. This is pretty big. This looks quite kinky, I have to say. Mm, big. Oh, is there something else in the box? It made a, a loud noise. Let me just check underneath. No, nothing. So this is old plastic, old plastic stuff. This feels a little heavy, about, uh, I would say, a good 200 grams or so, 250. 
I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest. I really don't know how I feel about this right now. I'm not going to give you my yes or no right now on this. Yes, yes on this. Definitely yes on this. I like this. I like that it's got PU leather here. Uh, I don't know how long it will last and the quality and all that kind of stuff, of course. VR cover generally are much better and definitely going to give you discounts on VR cover, by the way. It's just I haven't had time to put all the links in the description below, but they should be up there by next week. So I'll try to do it over the weekend. But I do like the strap. This I'm not quite sure about, to be honest. But, you know, maybe once I'm in VR, I will forget about this. Or maybe I can plug it in once my... Once there's 10% left of battery here, then I can put it on. It makes more sense to do that, to be honest with you, so that you can keep charging it whilst I use this, I would imagine. So, yeah, but there you go, guys. It goes here. And maybe once I'm in VR, I'll forget all about this. Like, I won't even notice it. Very possible. I don't know. So I can't give you my yes or no on this. I'm just saying it's... I'm not really, really used to this. I'm not really, really used to it. I need to get used to it. So we'll see how we go. Let's just put everything on together. There we go, guys. I'm all pimped up and ready to go. Um, so the only thing I need to do is take the cable, which is this one here. So we just undo this. There we go, like so. And then we put one in the USB-C here. So I need to just remove the plastic. Ooh, always feels good to do that, right? Put the plastic here. And then basically I just put into, which one is it? I put into the one here. There's none here, right? Yeah, only one side. Okay, so we put it in. I imagine I would have to charge it a little bit, but I don't know. Um, yeah, it's a bit it's a bit weird putting it on because you have the cable here and here, but okay. There we go. Let's put it on. And then, of course, you can use this thing here to tighten it up here. But honestly speaking, because the cable's not very long, I'm not going to do that because I don't want this cable to be pulled up. I want this to be resting on my shoulder. So it's all good. Or you could, uh, anyway, you could just find a way to do it. But yeah, so far, okay, no problem. So there you go, guys. This is what I look like, all blinged up. My Quest is switched off at the moment, so if I switch this on... I'm not quite sure how you switch it on, though. Is there a button here, maybe? Maybe there's no buttons, guys. Maybe the moment you put it on, that's it. You know, it auto-switches on. Oh, no, there's a button here. Okay, there's a button here. So, I think it's out of juice. I'm guessing there will be an LED, LED or something to tell me that it's on. Or the headset itself will tell me it's on, so... It's all good. I'll charge it and I'll see how. 10,000 milliampers, guys. It's supposed to be really, really full of juice, this thing. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe as I will be putting it through the test and giving you the lowdown so whether it really, really works perfectly. Um, but yeah, 15% discount, everybody, using the promo code in the description below the like button, VR Essentials, with the link there, so go and click that. And if you're a DGen and you want to, you know, get yourself some bling and other accessories as well, Site-wide 15% discount, not just these two items, site-wide, everybody. So yeah, there you go. Well, thank you very much for watching today's video, everybody. Really, really appreciate it. I will see you in another video very soon. Hope you appreciated it. Yeah, take it easy and go and watch all the tutorials, how to set up the AirLink, how to transfer files from your Quest 3 to your computer, how to change all your notifications, how to do so many different things, and go and check out all the Pimax Crystal and HP Reverb G2 videos as well, of course. And uh, yeah, plenty to go and check out. And guys, thank you very much to all the devs for sending me all the keys to all the games. Of course, I will be reviewing them very soon. Probably next week, I'm going to start, I would imagine. So yeah, and there was just an update for the MetaQuest 3 version 59, everybody. I posted that video a couple of days ago, so go and check that out in the link description below as well. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye-bye.